car right here. Y'all already know who, who put me on Ali, bro. I still got that video where you oh, talking yeah, trying to yeah. chase on. We was at uh, CJ. Oh, I remember that video. Yeah. 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 Nothing. No, man. You don't. The only thing we have is a silk shirt. A silk shirt? You, do a you wear silk? I don't even think I see this guy in silk. He's, he's Robert Dior. Right, let me see. I got a dope chain. Man, he went crazy with that. I got to tell you, this chain right here is crazy. Yeah, I'll send you a picture when they come in so you can see a better, better look. Yeah. But I think that trench coat is not nice because it's trench coat. You're telling me to take it like that. Yeah. I just need that brown. I got so much. Yeah. The brown and the green. Let me show you the brown trench coat I have so you can have it in mind because I only got one. And we go to cold places nowadays, so I'll get it. I think there might be passes. I have to see if we still have it. Oh, yeah. This is not even on the floor. Wow. Now that's hard. <laughs> I'm just ready. I need to go change my bed. Is that blue? Is it blue or black? I hope that's black. Black. Is it black? Blue? Make sure. I gotta, I gotta make sure I got. Man, I was changing all my J on too. I really would have been. And this bitch capped out like this, huh? Oh, you're gonna have like this. Like, yeah, see yeah, what y'all say? say? <laughs> it's like that though? See that or what? Yeah, that bitch hard. Yeah? That bitch hard. Yeah, this is crazy. I, I mean, like, I told yeah, this real, it's like real, like, I don't even want to talk type shit. <laughs> Let me see what else. Let me see what else. Okay. With the shoes, with the black jeans. Ooh, they gonna be like, oh, your boy crazy. <laughs> yeah. With these, yeah, I got to. Hmm. This is my pre order clean. Yes. So I'm going to a fashion show soon or not? Hey, bro, you got to come to a fashion show with me with them. I'll be going to the fashion show. And what? Oh, these perfect. Hey. These are perfect. Keep the real honey. Like, <laughs> in your bag, you gotta keep the real honey. If you don't keep this real honey, Mark, you got the real honey. Playing you playing games. You got the, you got the, oh, you ain't taking it? Oh, no, it's good. Look, this thing, anything can happen at any time. Oh, yeah. You might as well. 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 I ain't yeah, they, they need to sponsor us. They're bringing it right now. Okay. They need to sponsor us because I ain't gonna lie, we take that stuff a lot. And, it's, and it works. It, does it, it really works. works. Especially if you drink like a couple things of water, water. for 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, I do. Just Seen him once, but actually seeing his shit rimmed up, he killing, it, killing the game. Right so listen, y'all, we in the 2022. Rolls Royce Ghost, man. You know what I mean? I bought it. It had 53 miles on it. It was four hundred and ninety thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Um, long story short, man. I'm just into like the newest cars, and you know, 2023 is coming up. 
and you know most likely I'm gonna try to get a 2023 and I like the reason why I like to stay in the years is because I feel like when you stand you know up to date with things you know it makes you want to go harder you know what I mean it makes you it makes like me I get motivated off things I don't want to be in like an older car when when I know it's newer cars I feel like I'm left behind you know what I mean just like I was at the design district today I seen the older ghost and I'm just like damn then I looked at my car I seen a new front and a new back and a new insides and it just it just motivated me you know what I mean so I'm into that type of stuff and it makes me actually work harder go harder stay focused and that's one of my main goals is to just always be one of those focused people you know I noticed that um, you know a lot of the times with people that's in the world they get discouraged by a whole lot of uh, people taking their own advice from people and um, you know not learning from their mistakes and that's the, one of the main goals that I always tend to everything that ever happened in my life I tend to learn from you know what I mean I tend to learn that when you buy older cars if you buy an older car just know it's going to come with a lot more problems versus a newer car so it's better to buy a newer car knowing that it's going to have less problems and newer cars come with warranties and if you don't drive them as much when a new year comes you can trade it in and keep getting a newer and newer and newer and newer car you know what i mean versus getting a 2014 13 it don't got no warranty it got a lot of problems most likely it has high miles you know what i mean like I'm into like luxury. I'm into like the new gadgets. I'm into, you know what I mean? When I pull up somebody saying wild about my car, you know what I mean? So that's that's one of my main goals, you know what I'm saying? So I went on and got the 2022 Ghost, you feel me? It got everything, all the seats massage. Um, as you see, it got Apple CarPlay, you know what I mean? I can literally, vehicle settings, let's go to seat comfort driver's seat seat massage you know what i mean i can look whole body you know what i mean let's see massage level turn it on three so when i'm riding around you know what i'm saying right now my seat is massaging my back right now you know what i mean and i mean you can just do stuff like that um do the passenger seat as well vehicle parking tracking this car do everything bro like whatever you can think of it do um i mean like i said i, I just like everything about the new ghost i'm also going to, i'm going to get the i'm getting a new wraith i'm gonna get the new ferrari truck um i love cars man i'm just into cars um right now i got some 22 inch ford Yattos on on here it still rides smooth like I don't even have rims on here the rims they were uh, $14,000 um, I got them the same color as the car which you know which makes the car actually stands out because I could have just got some chrome rims but I wanted the color to match real good you know and I wanted the Forgiato sign to actually sit still while I'm driving so I mean I did a lot to this car man and I just wanted to give y'all this review but definitely got the starlight ceiling you know, you can lower them. You can make them really, really bright to the point it almost looks like it's a light. Um, I got dark tint all the way around the car, so can't nobody see in it. I didn't dark the front windshield. I left it because I like to be able to see real clear when I'm driving. Um, also, it has a sensor in the front that if you are, um, if you do try to put tint on there, it might, you know, lights and stuff might come on. So I ain't mess with that. Um, yeah, but only thing I don't like about the inside of this car is the white, man. You got to be very careful. It's all white, and it's easy to it's very easy to stain. And the rims, man. I stay have to get a car wash. I spend like a hundred dollars on car washes every single day because the rim, the uh, the Rolls Royce, like when you brake, the brake dust always pops up on the wheels, and by the wheels being white, it shows a whole lot. So. I say getting a car wash every day, all day. Um, but yeah, other than that, though, man, I just feel like whoever is watching this video, I feel like it's possible for anybody as long as you have the right mindset to win. And if you know who you're around, you know what type of people you deal with, you know what type of people you talk to. And like I say, 
you are who you hang out with and you are who you talk to every day on a daily basis so if you find yourself talking to a whole lot of bums every day all day most likely you're going to be like those bums because they don't have nothing to do you don't have nothing to do and that's just how it's going to go you talk to a whole lot of people that's always going to motivate you that's always going to tell you to push whether you taking it because what you have to watch out for let's say if me and you talking and I'm telling you about something and you're taking offense to it that's probably because you're not ready for the next level you know what I mean if I'm telling you man do this man do that and you always have an excuse or I can't do this or you're complaining about me trying to push you to the next level most likely you're not ready for the next level so listen I, I just want to let y'all know that I didn't get to this point saying that all oh, my time gonna come I forced my time to come you know what I mean like a lot of people thinking like, oh, you know, I'm gonna wait out my turn and you know, my time will come. No, your time won't come. Your time is only gonna come if you make your time comes. And it starts with networking, connections, and knowing the right people. You have to know the difference. Like this world is a big finessed out world. And everybody is looking for opportunity to eat. You either gonna get used or be the user. There's only two ways in this world, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta think about everything that's going on in the world from, you know what I'm saying, our medicine, our food we eat, you know what I mean? The stuff they put in the air, just everything that's going on that's scammed out. Even from the jobs that people work, from colleges, all the finesse stuff that goes on, you have to take into consideration and know that everything around you is not what you think. So when you start thinking like that, then you'll understand the type of world you're living in and then you will know how to move forward with life and know how to know okay well yeah let me live my life like this because life ain't what I think it is you feel me once you start thinking like that you go you gonna win and that's how I got to my point to be honest to you though like I just look at life like okay well everybody gonna play their part but I need to play my part better everybody gonna do their part but I need to do my part better. You know what I mean? I don't want to just, if I'm going to be friends with somebody, it got to be beneficial. It has to be something where it really, really, really makes sense. I'm not going to just put all my marbles over here or put all my marbles over there. Everything has to make sense. Even with girls that I talk to, I talk to girls, they got good credit. They got nice homes. They got nice cars. And they're not 30. They're 24. In Miami, these girls that I meet, they be 24, 23, 25, nice homes, nice cars, good credit, everything got going on for themselves. And in other cities, the reason why you see older women, you know what I mean, with stuff, because they, you know, they start, they start learning a lesson, you know what I mean? And when they get older, they start like they they click like, damn, let me get on my shit. Out here. It's a little bit more advanced. I didn't think Miami would be this advanced as I thought. You know what I mean? But it's pretty advanced. Hold on. So listen, y'all finna go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna do my 60 minutes. I'm finna go to the gym, work out crazy, hit the sauna. You know what I mean? And I do this every day. I work out twice a day. You know what I mean? I do my cardio. I do my strength training. Like I said, in order for you to have nice arms, nice legs, stuff like that, you still have to train. Even if you get surgery or whatever, you still have to go hard with the training. You gotta make sure you take the right supplements, the CLA, before you work out. Um, you gotta make sure you do eat right, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure everything that you eat has protein in it. You know what I mean? Make sure you cut out the bread, cut out the snacks, cut out the sugar, no pops, you know, a lot of water. Um, yeah, man, and just go hard, man, you know what I mean? And like I said, Miami is a good, great place to live because everybody works out and it's real motivating. And they treat working out almost like shopping or like, it's like a habit to me now, you feel me? So I work out, I make my money, ride the best cars, do what I want to do, you feel me? Where we going? All right. Right here is these are protein brownies, man. If you don't know what protein brownies are, let me show y'all. So, they got six grams of collagen, you know what I mean? In them. They got uh, protein, and they good. That's the closest thing you can get to snacks. Also, 40 grams of protein. You know what I mean? This is how you eat. Before you go get that crazy workout in, get that thing together. 
You know? Get it. Cream soda joint, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'll take before I work out. Shit bust. Got everything in there. I give you focus. Don't got no sugar. It's good. Go crazy, you feel me? We go to the gym like this. Rolls Royce, you know what I'm saying? Chains, you know what I'm saying? I, I like I like to feel like myself when I'm working out. I ain't gonna cap to you. You know what I'm saying? Like people like I noticed that people want you to dumb your life down because their life is not together. You know what I mean? And I feel like the reason why people do what they do is to get to the next level. But a lot of people don't want you to get to the next level because they're never gonna get to the next level. So you have to read between some of the lines that they, people talk about when they say, oh, well, you don't have to show this or you don't have to do this or you don't have to do that. They're telling you that from a point of view of them never being able to say it from this point of view. You know what I mean? It's never a person that's successful telling you to not do this or not doing that. It's always somebody that's broke, don't got nothing, and ain't never going to have nothing. You know what I mean? So take that, in, take, take that into consideration when you hear hating come coming for you you know what i mean it's always gonna be like a fake page you know what i mean it ain't gonna never be no person like from their real page or whatever it's always gonna be somebody from a fake page hey you know what i'm saying or it's gonna be like <clears throat> somebody that ain't on shit that don't matter at all so that's how you gotta look at life when it comes all these everything that you see around you man is all good businesses man people making millions of dollars traveling on trips you know, doing what they do best. I want to be the same way, you know what I mean? I want to have the the private jets where I'm going to a different country every single day because I own the factory and I got 7,000 workers working for me and nobody thinking that nothing's wrong with that because they're white, you know what I mean? So, but, but since I'm black, it's something wrong and I'm too flashy and... Until I get my private, maybe if I get my private jet and my helicopter and, you know, I was in Bali every other day and maybe everything would be okay then. But, you know, until then, I guess I'm too, I do too much, you know, because most of your haters want you to just live this normal life and, you know, oh man, you don't have to do that or you don't have to do this. Just be normal, be regular, eat noodles, you know. We're not trying to live that life. We're trying to live the good life. We're trying to live the wealthy life we want to own a lot of companies we want to get big grants and you know have the best credit scores and ride in 2022s and when 2023 comes around we want to be in 2023s and 2024s you know what i mean with nice rims and nice homes and stuff like that we don't want to have to tell our since <clears throat> just so let's just say this you got to be watch out for this too you guys watch out for a group of people coming around you talking to you who is like on a lower level and just mad at the world because they're on a lower level and then they talk to you so that they think that you're doing too much because you're on a higher level so everything that you're doing is just way too much you know what I mean stay away from those type of people stay away from people that's always you know trying to make you come down to their level they're trying to pull you down because you remember if they can't use you they're against you but if they feel like that they can use you then they cool with you you know what I mean? You gotta ask yourself why, why? You have to question everything. You have to look at everything. You gotta pay attention to everything. It's a reason for everything. It's a reason. Just know that it's a reason for everything. You know what I mean? I work out a lot, you know what I mean? I go out to eat a lot. I go out on a lot of dates. You know what I'm saying? I do what I want to do. I don't have no, a lot of y'all guys and a lot of y'all girls. Y'all, y'all girls, you know what I mean? It's like, to me, I look at it like y'all got, like guys, let's, let's just start at guys, right? A lot of guys, I notice, treats they girls like their moms almost. Like, oh, I have to talk to my old lady before I have to go outside or uh, I have to, like, you're never going to get on. If you all, if you're putting someone in charge of your life to get successful, you're never, ever, ever going to make it, ever. I don't care what you do, how good you do it. You ever knew somebody that was really, really talented and they wasn't successful? It's because of who they're around, who they listen to, how they think. If they change up the way they thought, 
and put their self first because you got to put yourself first out here you don't put yourself first out here you're gonna lose because do people ever think about if the person that they're putting over their self gives up on them what they're gonna do you don't think like that well you need to think like that because it's possible <clears throat> that person is not like i know in your head you may think that uh the person that you really rock with so much could be around for the rest of the, the rest of your life but it's not guaranteed so with me knowing with me knowing that that's not guaranteed i need to put myself first and go hard for myself so i can be myself's backup plan if i'm not myself backup plan who's going to be my backup plan if the person who i'm putting before me gives up on me that's what we need to think about and talk about if we don't talk about it like that then i don't know what we're talking about you know what i mean so if people if everybody thought like that then we'd be straight man like like a lot of people just let that self go you know what i mean it's a gym we you know we go to the gym you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong you can get surgery and all that, but yeah, you still need to go to the gym. A lot of y'all girls, I know girls that got surgery and bodies look horrible. They just got surgery and don't even go to the gym no more. You know what I mean? They just start eating crazy and man, this shit is hard work. You can be with a hustler and not know how to make a damn dollar. You know what I mean? Because they feel like, oh, I'm with the hustler. and uh, uh, What happens if the hustler leaves? Or what happens if a person you thought or, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of y'all want to be in love, right? Okay, cool. So, everybody wants to be in love, but don't think about what what happens when a person falls out of love. Huh? When a person falls out of love, what are you going to do? Why? Because you put your, you gave that shit your all, and now you fall. So, he the fuck? What do you move out the way so I can get my nice Rolls Royce through here? Like, what is going on? But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> like I say, it's all about consistency. Let me see. Let me see something. Let me see something. Like I'm just making sure you know he looked back. Okay, he moved it. He moved it. So, um, discipline is the key. Consistency is the key. But just because you're consistent in something doesn't mean it's going to work. Just because you're disciplined in something doesn't mean it's going to work. Remember, a lot of people are consistent. It's a lot of people that I know. People that do three, four videos on YouTube every single day all day for years and years and years it's still not big still not major i know people with two three four five hundred thousand subscribers on youtube it's still not successful what do that tell you what do that tell you i know people who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers and don't have a car or a home what do that tell you that tells you that is life is not what you think you have to be a real life hustler in this world that we live in you have to be because if you're not a hustler in this world that we live in you are going to fail out here this world is based off hustle every time we go in the store that's some that's a hustle that designer clothes that you see that people be buying, hustle. You go in a grocery store, those fruits are hustles. Every single thing. These tires are made to pop on my car. That's a hustle. They can make them that they never, they can make them to the point where that they never pop. But they made them so they pop so they can keep making money. But our minds are so messed up that we don't pay attention to that type of stuff. Because we're so worried about people like Bandman man Kevo, what he does, what he's wearing, what's this, what's that? People spend so much attention focusing on 
the negative versus the positive. Their life will be horrible, like very horrible. But they will literally take the time to make a fake page just to comment or even comment from their real page just to comment on your just a comment on your page just to get a few likes and you know what those few likes do it dry it gives them confidence because they're not famous they're not clouded up but it gives them some type of uh like urge like oh my god people recognize me you, did you see my comment you know what i mean like you got those type of people but still have to go to sleep broke still to make a dollar from it instead of doing research like let me research some things so i can learn something or damn, let me see how, how what could I bring? What could I bring to the table? You have to be like ladies. Let me tell you like this, ladies. You have to be a woman that can bring something to the table. If you can bring something to my table, I will help you. I will help you open up a business. I will do whatever you need me to do for you. Right? You just gotta bring something to the table. Looks is not gonna get it. Looks is not gonna get it. It's plenty, it's so many beautiful girls out here. I meet a beautiful girl out here all the time going to the store. Flex on the gram, uh, yeah. My low and my boots. 